This experiment shows how polarizing filters transmit only part of the light that shines on them, but particular molecules can rotate the light's plane of polarization. As usual, pause if you need details. Okay, here's an experiment about polarization. You may recall an earlier experiment that we demonstrated plane waves. These plane waves were transverse waves and the spring vibrated up and down or side to side or whatever. If you think of light as an electromagnetic wave, this electromagnetic wave can be polarized like this so that the E field is going up and down that way, sideways this way, and everything in between. Normally light comes unpolarized, that is, it's in all polarization directions at once. Okay. Interestingly enough, there has been invented something called a polarizing filter. Those of you who know about cameras probably have some understanding of this already. But a polarizing filter is made of material such that long skinny molecules are aligned in this material and frozen into place and then deposited and makes polarizing filters like to polarize sunglasses. Okay, that's good because now what happens is if I have light coming into this polarizing filter then the light that comes in is polarized in all directions. It comes into the polarizing filter and if the molecules are lined up like this then the light that comes in polarized that way, it turns out that scatters in all directions, so very little gets through to the other side. Maybe none in an observable sense. But the light which is polarized this way goes right through. Okay, great. Now, so that's interesting. Let's show you what this looks like. I've got the laser beam set up nicely on uh, Albert uh, Einstein's nose. And let's see if we can show you what this looks like. I'll put the polarizing filter right next to the laser beam. And so what does it look like now? A little dimmer. Okay, I have a second polarizing filter. I'll try that one. See what the second polarizing filter does. And it's again dimmer. Great. If I take both polarizing filters together and put them together like so and put them in place, now what happens? Uh, again, it's uh, dimmer, but okay. But now here's the funny part. If I take this polarizing filter and turn it the other way so that now they're crossed polarizing filters. Then the first polarizing filter lets through light that goes this way, the second polarizing filter lets through light that goes that way, and what light is it that does both of those? The answer, none. So it subtracts out pretty much all of it. So when I put these two in place, you should see just about nothing. See, the light is gone. I'll get the filters out of the way, and there's the light back again. Okay, now this is particularly interesting because uh, these, polarizing filters that I have set up use these long skinny molecules and the long skinny molecules then are ones which change which have the polarizing uh, direction in one way but there are other molecules that are not just long and skinny but actually have twists to them and so I have some set up here this one is just uh, what seems like ordinary cellophane I'm going to put the ordinary cellophane between the crossed polarizers and now let's see what this looks like when I shine the laser beam through it. Oh boy, now I'm getting some light through. Because what happens is that the polarizing filter, the first polarizing filter lets some light through. It's then, its plane of polarization is changed by the cellophane. And so now some of it gets through the second filter. When some of it gets through the second filter, now some comes out the other side. If I simply remove the cellophane, and get it out of there and run these two filters again in a crossed sense, you're back to nothing. So here's the laser beam, here's the crossed polarizers, no beam comes out the other side. This is particularly neat because there are many molecules that do this, and some of the molecules are of great interest to people, especially biologically, because some of the molecules have twists and turns to them. Do you know any twisty, turny molecules in biology? If you do any biological studying, maybe a little DNA might do that and a few other optically active molecules. Very valuable in biology. Okay, there you go, polarization.